Hi, welcome to the Twin Cities Skinny, brought to you by Minneapolis area realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. Home prices rose steadily throughout 2018, even as sales activity was in fluctuation compared to 2017 levels. Strong demand for a limited number of homes for sale fueled price increases along with a higher-end product mix. November showed the first inventory increase since 2015, and buyers should expect inventory to continue to improve in 2019. In theory, more homes for sale should limit the magnitude of price increases, but more inventory doesn't always lead to weaker pricing. Absorption rates can be a better indicator of price momentum. A fourth interest rate hike by the Federal Reserve in 2018 spooked the stock market to close out the year with the worst performance since 2008. Other things on traders' minds include, but aren't limited to, trade, tariffs, a tech slump, a possible recession, political uncertainty, and concerns abroad. Pending sales decreased 3.3% from December 2017 to 2,918 for the month. Closed sales decreased 9.9% from December 2017 to 3,706 for the month. Sales were down compared to last year, as some buyers are willing to wait for more favorable pricing at a time of diminished housing affordability. Prices were up compared to last year at this time. The median sales price increased 4% to $258,000. Price increases were ubiquitous in 2018, but that may change in 2019. Inventory levels market-wide increased 4.5% to 8,128 units. National inventory is beginning to perk up after a long slump, and that is also the case locally. Month supply of inventory was up 13.3% to 1.7 months. This indicator measures the balance between buyer and seller activity. Figures over 6 months indicate a buyer's market. Figures under 5 months indicate a seller's market. Percent of original list price received at sale fell to 96.9% since last year. Sellers continue to yield a healthy share of their list price. Unemployment rates remained remarkably low in 2018, and wages continued to improve for many U.S. households. The issue now is a lack of labor supply. Sure, real estate benefits from wage growth, but incomes haven't quite kept pace with home price increases. This created an affordability crunch in the second half of 2018. Housing affordability will remain an important storyline in 2019. That's the Twin Cities Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.